Barry from Cross Training Enduro Skills, and myself, Dallas, from Traction ERAG, recently got together and had a long format discussion about clubs, and we asked a lot of tough questions. The internet has changed the way communication and information is being shared. We know the history of how clubs, why and how clubs were formed and why they're useful today. But with all these Facebook groups popping up, all these Instagram groups popping up, like the, the West Coast Riders, the East Coast Dual Sport Group, these digital groups are surpassing clubs. They've evolved around meeting people, meetups, rides, uh, communication, but they do not liaison with the government. Like that piece of the digital world is left out. The clubs still do that. But what do you predict as the future? Like what are some of the paths that could occur? <laughs> well, if, if you mean Australia in particular, um, it would just be business as usual, sweet FA, sweet fuck all. I think too much is going to change. Uh, every now and then people will still attempt to have an online petition go and a few people will sign it. Canada? I, I'm not really keeping my finger on the pulse, but I think it would be interesting to see whether the clubs engage more with online media, whether they can somehow use that more adventurously. The clubs exist in a small way and they're doing work in maintaining regional areas of trail uh, or tr riding areas. So they are doing work on the ground, which is invisible to the average person riding it. You know, you, you, you show up the staging area with your friends, you ride the trails, you reload your truck, you go get some alcohol and some food and you forget about it. That's it. But a lot of these clubs are actually managing these areas. So there's, you know, there's that burden on the club. They're at the table with the government, but yet the, the large groups are the social media Facebook groups. Looking at it through the lens of a futurist, I don't know what's going to happen. The pessimic, pessimistic side of me says digital groups are going to continue to grow. Clubs are going to continue to shrink. My fear is that the people that run the clubs right now are in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. Uh, they're doing it because they believe in off-road riding and keeping it available for the future. Mm -hmm. But those people will eventually burn out and get away from it. It's inevitable. And the question is, is the next generation going to pick up that torch of the traditional club and sit at these bureaucratic meetings? Like, that's the mm. big fear I have is like, who is going to do this work? That sounds like a bit of a dark future. I can't imagine too many people wanting to step in and do that kind of drudge work. So it would get me there wondering whether some sort of digital process takes over instead uh, and not necessarily being at those meetings, but using online media, social media driven processes to apply pressure to the government. It seems to be a bleak future. Uh, if anyone is listening to this and has comments or ideas of what you've seen work, or if you have ideas what may work, or things that are working in your local region area, please, by all means, add them to the comments because people that care about the future of off-road riding, they need help.